Hey guys, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just wanted to show you one of my favorites that I captured uh, with my ETX-90 telescope uh, on September 27th, 2020 at uh, Sequoia Park in Monterey Park. Thank you, John Loro, for helping me capture this one. But first of all, I wanted to apologize for the, uh, the major confusion um, at uh, Hollydale Park. I looked online and it looked like it was open. Uh, unfortunately, it was closed. So I had to reroute things uh, 11 miles away at um, Sequoia Park over in Monterey Park. This was the first time I had to do something like this, and um, so please forgive me. I wanted to thank everyone for coming to our UFO sighting event. It was uh, great meeting all of you. Um, it's always fun to uh, see fellow ufologists out there. A special thanks to Jesse, John, uh, Fosto, Shelley. They're just powerhouses in the ufology world. So it was kind of a slow day. We only saw like eight objects, um, which is a little bit unusual for us. I have no idea why, but uh, we can only speculate. This one showed up toward the end of the day. Through my experience, if it is a slow day, sometimes they save the best for last. This one showed up closer to four o'clock. There was actually two of them, uh, both of them in what looked to me a serious cloud. Both of these objects were very, very high up in the sky. The first one ended up taking off north, and I lost it in the, uh, in the tree. But the second one I was able to capture. For some reason, this one decided to stick around for a couple of minutes. It was golden color. To me, it was shaped like a V, but it was flashing like crazy. I was able to capture it on my ETX-90 with the uh, A6000 camera. I was able to track it using my monitor, where everyone else was able to watch it live as I captured it. So this one seemed to uh, transform. Since it was metallic and flashing, I assume this was mechanical. The original formation looked to be like a V, but as you can see with the excessive flashing on one of the legs, the leg contorted and turned this object into like a four. Yeah, check it out, this is crazy. Look how it slowly bends and almost telescopes to make a four formation. Then you'll slowly see it turn from a two-dimensional object into a three-dimensional object. I've seen this many times before. The flashing seems to trigger some sort of molten transformation of this object. Yes, it's science we don't understand, but it's fun to watch. And notice it turns into a uh, contorted L. This one really gave us a show. Another thing that I thought was interesting was the sequencing. This thing ended up being cyclical, meaning it would go from like a V formation into a four formation and then back again. Some people say that this is not a UFO because it doesn't look like a flying saucer. Well, I'll tell you, flying saucers can look like UFOs, but not all UFOs look like flying saucers. Anyway, I hope you liked the video, and I hope you can make our next UFO sighting event. Please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com, and we'll let you know when the next UFO sighting event will occur. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.